Hello everybody, right, welcome back. Let's have a look at some of these um, coins then, shall we? So we'll start with Bitcoin. I'm, I'm obviously, by the way, I'm not a financial advisor. It's, it's definitely not financial advice. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll have a look anyway, shall we? So we'll start with Bitcoin. So Bitcoin's been making some massive moves, some huge moves yesterday. So it went straight through, or, or, like straight through these areas of resistance. And when we're looking here on the daily, it's, it still suggests that there's plenty of room to go. <sighs> I'm not really convinced though I should say but I mean you're going to have to follow what the chart says right now and the chart says it wants to carry on going up okay so if that's the case where is it going to go up to when's this going to stop and how long is it going to take so we'll go to the 4 hourly see if we can make heads or tails of it um so basically the 4 hourly when we look at it now um I mean we had to, I mean I got rid of it now but we had a pitchfork that we broke out of around 10,000 and my my view was if we break out at 10,000 and close above 10,000 on a daily chart then we are going to turn bullish and that bullishness would 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 probably peak at this descending trend so to be honest with you the the rate that it's going now with these super strong moves that it's making now and um, that's my expectation. I'm not going to trade anything. I mean, obviously, I hold Bitcoin, but I do trade it as well. And there's there's certainly no trading for me right now, uh, until we get to this area, and then I might pull a short on it. All right, I'm not tempted to go long on it now. I'm also not tempted to short on it now because we're basically right in the middle of first of all a resistance box, um, and to be honest with you, it's, it's gone straight through this area here, which was, should have been resistance for it as well, which is uh, ten thousand two hundred and fifty. Went straight through that. Um, and straight through these um, moving averages as well, and into straight into this here, which is our, you could call it historically, I guess, in in recent times, um, a bit of a, not exactly a pivotal part for it, but um, close. If we can break above here and then break above here, uh, which is the eleven thousand to eleven thousand two hundred, obviously it's only got a little further to go before it reaches this descending trend. Which has been rejected significantly three times. Um, then, um, if we break above that, then that is it. I will probably place a long, and I will go. I will go long on this until further notice. But at the moment, it's uh, it's in between, and uh, I'm not entirely sure. It looks like it wants to be rejected actually from this area here, ten thousand eight hundred. But um, you know, I didn't think it'd get this far this quick. In fact, I was still waiting. I was still actually waiting for it to come down to this um, support here, where I was going to sell. I was I was not convinced, but you know I, I was holding a short from this area here from eleven thousand two hundred. I've been holding a short from here all this time, and my my target was down here, uh, and obviously we didn't make it. So I ended up selling my short here because, like I say, I'm, I, who knows where it's going to go? I'm not I'm not a hundred percent either way of which direction it's going to go um, at this point. So I thought I'd sell it off now. Um, when will I get short again? I would get short again if we break beneath this area, which is uh, 10,215. That's where we had a drop off here. Um, I would probably place a short if we break beneath there. And where would I be looking to short it to? I'd actually still be looking to come down to this area here. Uh, but at the moment, we're right in the middle, and indicators suggest it wants to go up. It's got the momentum. To, should I say it's got the. Uh, it's got the. It wants to go up, let's just say that. It wants to go up, but whether it's got the strength, actually, I, I, I'm not entirely sure. So it might lurk around this area, maybe come beneath this area here and, and find find itself beneath 10,600 again. Um, but if we can break above here then um, and break above here sooner rather than later, it wouldn't surprise me if we ended up coming straight through these boxes here, which are pretty strong, but not sh shouldn't be that strong if it gets this far this quickly and then be rejected from here. So currently that value, if it was to do it today for instance, that value is 11,450. That's the value it would be now. So it's it's unlikely to get higher than that without a, without a rejection. And like I say, we've had massive rejections on this descending trend three times. We might not get it again. We might break through. But this is where I'll be looking to... What I'll probably do is I'll place a short here uh, with a very tight stop loss around here or so with a couple of hundred um, area to play with, and obviously if it goes, if it gets rejected like I think it will, then everything's fine. If it breaks above, I'll quickly switch my position, and I will go long. Anyway, that's all I have for you on Bitcoin. But the other coin that I'm looking at at the moment, and we always look at on this uh, one, is uh, is Matic. And we've had this descending trend just recently after the Coinbase announcement, and today it's been making huge moves. 
I understand it's been accepted to uh, an exchange or something, but even even for that, you know, a lot of the time, you know, you see the how many how many times things like BitTorrent token and T Rex get they they're on a, a new exchange like every time you blink your eyes. It doesn't do anything for them, but for some reason, if that's the reason, anyway, it's done something to Matic. But Matic was rejected uh, on this descending trend. So similar to Bitcoin, really, we've got a descending trend, and we've we've been rejected. Well, the first rejection was here, and second, these ones didn't come close. Second one was actually here, perfectly rejected from it, and today we've been rejected from it again. Um, so what I would say is, um, just as I said with Bitcoin, uh, you know, a trend is there until the end of the trend. When the trend gets broken, then we reverse the trend. So um, if we break above here, then it would be a bullish sign. Now, um, I hold Matic anyway. I've, I accumulate Matic because I've, I've got high expectations for it. So I've been accumulating um, all the way up and all the way down. Um, and so, you know, to me, I'd, obviously, I don't really trade it. But um, something to bear in mind is if we do break above here, we've got a significant resistance box here. This starts at um, uh, 16... Uh, what am I talking about? 16, 1.6, and ends uh, up here at 1.8. If that gets broken, then we've got the the the, uh, the holy grail of two cent to be broken. Uh, but that's a way off at the moment. We need to break out of this trend. So, like I say, we have been rejected from it right now, uh, today. Um, if this is just off the back of an exchange and people are trading on that exchange, and it's a bit of a honeymoon period for it. Then um, perhaps um, it will fizzle out and uh, and and carry on on its descent. But um, if we do break above that, then uh, then we will be testing this box, and you know, like I say, it's these areas that need to be broken, uh, and then once we've broken this area, then we can really start talking about where we're going next. Um, but th th at the moment, it's got quite a long way to go. But yeah, as you, can, you can see it's a perfect rejection from it there. It's a perfect like like it, it was it was meant to happen, you know. So uh, where are we going from here? So on the daily, it actually looks like it wants to make a fresh cross, and that will be taking place tomorrow. So uh, perhaps this won't fizzle out. We'll see how how remarkable that cross is. I mean, obviously it's it's looking quite um, steep at the moment because of the movements that we've had today. But um, this all might fade out and and continue with its downward spiral. I mean, the uh, the RSI you know has actually been making lower lows, so it would suggest you know just general uh, bearish momentum still, regardless of the pump that we've had today uh, and the day before, obviously. But we'll see how we go. You know, like I say, we've got to break out this trend and into this support and resistance area. Once that's done, then maybe we have reversed a trend. I mean, it looks like we want to reverse a trend. Uh, there's a lot of speculation about the Coinbase announcement um, and when that will be. But then there's also the uh, you know the problem that we're going to have with people trading not on Binance in the US. Not going to be able to do that anymore. Not on Binance, that would be anyway. Uh, so there's a, there's you know there's a lot of things coming into play with Matic. It, it, it's it's got so much promise, but it's got quite a lot of things stacked against it at the moment as well. Anyway, I'll leave it with you there. It's not a very informative video. Like I say, in a nutshell, we've got two downward trends that we need to break, both on Bitcoin, both on uh, and on Matic. And uh, until we break those, then uh, like I say, Matic, I'm, I'm just leaving it alone. But Bitcoin, I will be uh, shorting at this area, and if it carries on, I'll switch my position and I'll go long for. The, the rest of it, uh, well, until it finds a, finds its way above these areas, really. And I'll probably just keep holding it, to be honest. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have a nice evening, and take care.